hello everyone welcome to the third part of migration and in this video i will explain that uh, how you can rename your existing table to a new one for example we have a post table i want to rename it to whatever so let's start it here you need to write the schema object okay it's a schema and uh, yes it's uh, available and uh, here you need to specify the rename helper method here the first parameter would be the existing uh, table name and the other one where you want to uh, rename this i want to post uh, to verbs right it's a random name so let's go here and uh, run this php artisan migrate uh, fresh so it will uh, drop all the table and recreate them so let's enter fresh and uh, it's now dropping the table and creating them again okay and it's throw an error what is the error let's go here and base table or view now not found example post does not exist so why it says that post does not exist let's go here and uh, yes table post why it's throwing the error because of this new migration because there is a table and uh, it's finding the post table but but post table is changed from post to verb so let's go here and change this also from verbs and this should be also verb and let's enable this and uh, run it again great oh it will uh, fresh yes it will fresh the database and uh, recreate them so let's wait and uh, yes it's creating so uh, creating a post and status and it's uh, work uh, successfully let's go to the database and check that our table is renamed or not yes it's renamed from post to verbs that's great now i want to roll, roll back from verbs to post again so let's copy it and paste it here and now our table name is verbs right and i want to create a verbs uh, not verbs it's a post <laughs> i want to rename it from verbs to post so let's put uh, uh, verbs here but it's first checking drop if exist if the post exists then it will drop so if it does not exist so it will not execute this command so let's go here and uh, we need to type uh, table and it should be a post and uh, this one should be also a post let's save this one and uh, refresh it again so in the post uh we have a post there and we are using create so it will uh create the post but we have already uh no we don't have so let's see what's the exception it says based on post already exist hmm. so it means that we already created a post uh we created this post and we are renaming this from this post and we are dropping and let's go to the add column go here post and here we are running. it's good why it's doing base table or view already exist table post so it means that we need to manually uh, drop this into our database let's go here let's click on the database and go to the sql and uh, drop this post table uh, no post is not there so let's refresh i think post will be there so yes post is there so let's drop it go okay and uh, then there is no column there so let's refresh it again oh it's fresh not refresh you can do whatever you want so it's uh, oh it's still throwing this error still view post already exist so it means that our post is exist so let's go here and it says uh, rename from verbs to post but for now we don't have this verbs in the tree so let's go here refresh it and test it again that verbs is there or not 
so now verb is not there so let's uh, refresh it and refresh it again i am doing this uh, i am not skipping this step because people learn a lot from the real life example so you need to uh, you will learn that uh, how to debug uh, the code yes it's uh, again uh, again revert to verb from post that's great so thank you so much for watching this series and if you are interested to learn more about the laravel stay connected for more upcoming videos and subscribe the youtube channel thank you so much Bye -bye.